ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सेव बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल In this video, we will create a extrude nerves photo effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended. You can apply this effect in Photoshop CC 2017 also. It will be fun. So let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we'll create a extrude nerves filter effect in Photoshop CS6 extended. Uh it will be super fun, super easy and super fast. Not so much uh, difficult. Let me just show you what I have created personally uh, using this filter. So this is simple image when I worked on this image the final results will be look like this you can apply more type of things on that look you, you can see that have a look on this uh it looks much better perfect and uh you can turn off this uh, sketch effect by doing uh this one okay so this is the original one after applying lc filter on that it looks like this so that's the thing let's move to the next example let's just close this one as uh, we did so this one simple image After working on our image, the results are look like this. So let's turn off all the filters, and it looks like this. These long nerves, you can control each and everything here. Uh, it's not an action work; it's just a simple and manual work. Because some of people were talking about that, uh, I, if I have some complete tutorial, so I decided to make some tutorials on a complete work. And I hope you like this one. So close, and this example, uh, you can see that. lots of things you can do in this uh, you just need to create a basic effect uh, this is the basic uh, effect uh, you can make it a little uh, you can say that artistic and then apply some dust filters and these type of effects some adjustments some colors and you will see it looks uh, much better in final so uh, these are some examples you can using these uh, filters different settings and uh, you can play with these uh filters so these are default filters so you do, don't need to download any type of thing here okay so let's just close this one also and let's uh drag this into photoshop so we'll use this photo as uh to save your time so we don't need to do anything else we just need what to do is uh if we will uh apply this filter as uh, is, as it is uh it will not long make so long bars so what we'll do is we will uh, press c increase the sides as uh, like this uh, or just can cancel this press control j now uh, we will increase the sides like little bit not so much just little bit so click on check mark and that's it now uh, we'll move over this image to little bit uh, to the uh, right side now that's uh, looks uh, much better so that's it uh, this is the basic work which we need to uh, perform like this and uh, let's just uh, yeah i think it looks much better on this side fine so press control e now we will copy again and uh, now what we will do is uh, we will just uh, go to filter uh, stylize and extrude this is the basic menu okay so this is the size of your uh, uh, we can say that uh, line or uh, extrusion and this is the depth it's the longness of your uh, depth so your lines or bars you can say that bars and uh, keep it random you can make it level based but you can make it random it's much better so these settings are uh, for this image so click on okay it will take a little time because this image is very much high definition so uh let's uh, let's uh, wait for this uh, process so uh, our effect is applied and uh, you can see that this is the basic output 
don't worry about that uh, we will uh, handle this one very easily before we do anything else just go to remove and click on magic eraser okay so here you can do uh, multiple things what I want to do is uh, I just want to erase these sides and I want uh, uh, edges of these lines so how we can do that you can even do a polygon lesser tool and you can manually select each and every line and you can like this uh, you can do this work like this and you will do can continue this work but it is so much time taking so to avoid this uh, waste of time but I uh, we can say that uh, adopted a method is just go to your eraser tool select your magic eraser tool and click on this side and that's nice then click on this side and click on top of it from here and a little bit on this side this side and I think uh, this side keep doing that uh, not so much just a little bit uh, like this not so much like uh, like this okay uh, I, I, I am fine with that uh, like this this is the basic thing okay uh, you can see that the uh, edges are removed very nicely uh, have a look on this you can see the edges are very much visible here and if you don't want any edge you can just click on that and it will erase from the selection uh, like this you can see that I like these edges uh, some faded edges and some visible edges okay and uh, it's not a big deal so that's the basic thing which we have done here and uh, uh, yeah now what we will do is uh, uh, we want to hide these uh, extra materials so don't remove anything else like eraser using eraser tool just create oops sorry uh, create a uh, layer mask on this uh, image or layer because the layer is separate and the layer mask is separate okay the mask is uh, just hide the area which you want to be hidden so we will select our foreground color as uh, black and just uh, hide these things which are extra make your uh, hardness to about zero uh, percent and then just erase this uh, these sides uh, like this which I don't want to use in my selection okay you can see that there are some lines uh, exposing here so we'll simply just do a quick erasement uh, as much as uh, we can so for this image I will not waste so much time because it's so much time taking okay so just do it quickly and uh, that's it I think we are done with our basic work okay so on the top of it some off sides here like this now this was the basic work now we need to reveal the face so simply just uh, size it down a little bit and make out uh, check out where the face is actually uh, uh, have been rested so I think it's uh, on this side and uh, that's uh, nice we just want to get a basic concept like this uh, okay make it uh, lower we don't want uh, so much trouble for the hairs oops I think it's nice here so good don't erase everything here just to look like uh, matching with the edges so hide the dark edges and uh, I think we are fine with this one sorry okay so it is keep raising this okay we are getting back now make it 100% and I think uh, uh, X and uh, putting your X it will uh, invert your or we can say that change the foreground color you can see that X X and you will see that it is changing the colors of your basic area so I think I am fine with these settings because don't make it too much funky because it looks uh, weird 
Okay, people is calling. I don't know. Okay, so it is the extra area which is which, which didn't look so nice. So I think we are fine with this uh, selection. Okay, so you can make it on hand or you can just uh, leave it. Uh, it's a choice again how you want to look your image it's uh, you can completely raise that or you can just leave it as it is uh, let's check uh, how it looks after our little work so that's like a great now size it down select X and reveal from the hand okay now it looks much better that's great so this was the basic effect uh, you can see that have a look make it little uh, exactly the same you can see that you can remove these edges like this to make it look like same but you can even make it like this you can match it with the skin but keep in mind that hide these dark edges so it would look uh, much uh, nicer like this very good X and uh, you can use on this side here okay on this side uh, maybe look at this now it looks much better but uh, I think we are going to use this dark side So this is the basic effect you can see that looks much better and uh, what else uh, we want to give it some dust and these type of things so I will use some dusty textures here like this one make it a little bigger press ctrl shift and U. oh sorry just make it uh, soft light and rasterize this now press ctrl shift and U to invert this and now we will check back how it looks uh, I think it's nice here but we will we will just decrease the opacity so it looks much better here to give some dust in the background but you can see that this line give a little distraction so we'll press C and crop the forward area and that's it this is uh, done now use extra elements like I have used in each image uh, which looks much better rotate it fix the size holding shift and alt key and uh, just make it a screen you can use it soft light overlay but soft light is much better and uh, if you don't want to use that just go to uh, where is the vibrance and make it a little more revealed and yes one more thing I have uh, forgotten to uh, tell you is when you create this effect press copy this hide this original layer and delete and apply now this effect is applied now what we will do is uh, we will simply just go to filter uh, or yes uh, one more thing uh, you don't need to uh, use this original layer so press shift and select all of these layers and uh, now just go to filter and go to filter gallery from the filter gallery uh, zoom it out we will not use this side we will just go to artistic and we will use a which will look uh, much better okay so I think we should use uh, poster edges yes that's the effect let's zoom it in to check uh, what is going on here so what it will do is it will create a separate line to make your each edge separate you can see that it, it has created a separate line which looks much better and looks and uh, gives a nice look and I think much better the edge thickness is 0% you can increase the thickness 
like increase that but i think we are fine with uh, uh, uh i think uh, we are fine with one and uh, uh, make it zero even you can make it zero and uh, edge identity you can make it dark or you can make it lighter i think we are fine with this uh, one the posterization is six you can make it look like this uh, you can see that the more you will do it the more it will make it posterize effect so we'll apply a six or you can make it a little like this effect i think i am fine with this uh, posterize six and that's it now click on ok and this is the basic effect basic effect applied so you can see that by applying this paper texture it looks like a dark so what we will do is we will make it a little lighter so we'll use a brightness and contrast click on this uh, edge and we'll increase the light so that's it and brightness is increased you can increase that contrast or you cannot uh, it looks nice and now you can apply your effect here or if you don't want to do that uh, just go to this uh, levels you can apply a overall color grading uh, using this method like this uh, it's a default effect I, I always applied on most of the images because it looks uh, much better like this you can apply this one you can even use this one also and uh, decrease the opacity okay what else we can do on that so what we should do on this image yeah you can apply oil filter but it not uh, it will not look so good because it will kill the detail of our image so i think i am fine with this one and uh, just play with the settings change the thickness change the length and you can do whatever you want to do with these edges and i'm experiment if you want if you could uh, bend these uh, lines so in some tutorial in upcoming tutorial maybe we will do a bending tutorial of these extrude nerves and uh, yes that's it and um, you can do a lot more things it's just an endless work you can apply like uh, you can play with the colors like uh, these colors and uh, apply your desired effects like this and that's it i hope you like this uh, tutorial if you like this tutorial and found it helpful give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as uh, i showed some examples in this video you can do same work just play with the settings and you will get unlimited and unless results so i hope you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel we will meet in our next video never stop and keep learning